April 1st marks the beginning of Child Abuse Prevention Month. News 13's Karen Wynn is live at the United Way building in downtown Asheville. And Karen, I see some pretty blue decorations behind you. Yes, Tammy, there are plenty of them. And actually, a few hours ago, county leaders met to kick off the Blue Ribbon Campaign. All month long, there are going to be plenty of these pretty decorations to call attention to an ugly and growing problem in Buncombe County. Shiny blue and silver pinwheels planted in the ground, but these are no child's toys. Yeah, more is better. The decorating is all part of the Blue Ribbon Campaign to Prevent Child Abuse the color chosen by a grieving grandma. Her grandson was fatally physically abused and she saw his black and blue uh, body. Bill McGuire with Child Abuse Prevention Services says the number of child abuse cases grew by about 700 this year, up to nearly 5,000 countywide. And the victims he works with have gotten younger in the past two years. We're seeing children as young as three years old for therapy. We know that in households where an animal is being abused or neglected, statistics show us that frequently a child is as well. Buncombe County Commissioner Ellen Frost was one of the speakers at the kickoff. She urges the public to be aware of signs of child abuse. With child sexual abuse, it would probably it'd be more of uh, uh, maybe a child who has gone to a relative's or a neighbor's suddenly is afraid to go there. And Frost, a survivor of abuse herself, says be nosy and make that call. Uh, contact 211 if you see a question, or if you're not sure of something better to err on the side of reporting something than not. All throughout the month of April, there's going to be plenty of decorations and literature in local libraries, churches, pediatricians' office, and certain businesses. Live in downtown Asheville, I'm Karen Wynn, News 13.